Hello, this is Green Plum Data Flow Team. Today, I would like to introduce some new features in Green Plum 621. The major feature that our team have been working on is Green Plum to Green Plum. In short, we call it GP2GP. You can use GP2GP to run queries across more than one Green Plum database. To use this feature, you need to have Green Plum 621 and above. GP2GP read on two modules, GreenPlum Foreign Data Ramper and the GreenPlum Parallel Retrieval Cursor. The GreenPlum FDW module is an MPP extension of Postgres FDW module. It offers additional options and use GreenPlum Parallel Retrieval Cursor to fetch data in parallel. GP Parallel Retrieval Cursor module is an enhanced cursor implementation that allows you to create a special kind of cursor and Green Plum database master and uh, retrieve query results on demand and in parallel directly from Green Plum segments. That's why we call it a parallel retrieval cursor. If we want to try out this new feature, here are some steps to set up the environment. First of all, please make sure the dependent extensions have been created. Then create remote server. Server represents a remote green plum database that we want to connect. Then create a user mapping for each source GPDB user to remote user who can connect to remote database. And last, create a foreign table for each remote table that we want to access. Then you can write a query using the foreign table and the remote data will be fetched from segments in parallel. Okay, now let's start the demo. There are two Green Plum instances. This is a local server, and the other is a remote server. The local server has three segment clusters, and the remote server has four segment clusters. Please make sure the two Green Plum instances can connect each other on network and the database level before using GP2GP feature. First of all, we need to create a Green Plum FW extension and a GP Parallel Retrieval Cursor extension on the local server. And you must create a GP Parallel Retrieval Cursor extension in remote server. Then let's create a table in remote GPDB and insert some data. Now we can create a foreign server on the local GPDB. We must first create a foreign server object which specifies the host Pod and the database connection details. The MPP execute options all segments value is only supported for Green Plum FDW. It indicates the retrieval connection using parallel retrieval cursor. To obtain the full benefits for parallel transfer feature provided by Green Plum FDW, you must set it when you create the server. The number segments option is used to configure the remote GPDB segment number. Its default value is the same as the local GPDB. So if the local segment number and the remote segment number are different, you should set this option. Now let's configure user mapping. The remote user must have right permission to access related table or remote database. Only a Green Plum database super user can connect to Green Plum foreign server without password. The segment and options of create user mapping is the same as it's in Postgres circle. The last step is creating the foreign table. The column data type of foreign table should match exactly with those in remote table. You can create a foreign table with fewer columns or with different column order from the remote table. Now we can fetch data from remote server. If we insert more data on the remote server, we can get it from local. The option fetch size can control the data rows for each retrieval operation of GP to GP. Its default value is 100. For example, we can set it to 1000 like this. GP to GP minimizes the amount of data transferred between the Green Plum clusters by sending a query filter condition to remote Green Plum server. You can run the explain robust command to examine the query that is actually sent to the remote GPDB server. 
For example, we can see that the remote query includes field condition to avoid uh, fetching unnecessary data, and uh, the gather motion indicates the data will be fetched from segments in parallel. Greenplum FW also supports configuring SSO mode option like Postgres FW. For example, you can set SSO mode to require. Then the transfer data from remote server will be encrypted. Of course, you need to set SSO on and configure SSO certificates directly on remote and local GPDB before that. So far, the GP2 GP feature has the following no issues and the limitations. The GP Orca optimizer does not support queries on foreign tables, and the Greenplum FW does not support update and delete operation on foreign tables. We will keep working on it and make it better. That's all for this demo. Thank you for watching and hope you can try out this feature and share feedback with us. Thank you.